Hey everybody, did you even forget that I existed? And no, I did not die. I just am the worst. Um, and my computer had technical difficulties again because I think Message in a Haunted Mansion is cursed when it comes to posting these videos. But the videos came out like really weird and like laggy. So I literally had to play through the whole game again just to get to this point. So if there's any like continuity errors, like we have something that repeats or something that we won't get to see, I apologize. I tried to play as far as I could. So I don't really remember what happened last video, so just watch it as a refresher, but we're gonna snoop on Lewis. That's, that's the main point. So we're gonna get out of this secret passageway that we discovered, and we're gonna look in his briefcase. Ha <laughs> ha ha! Because we don't have any senses of personal boundaries. First I'm gonna get caught by Lewis because I like to show the second chances. So let me just like crack the sucker open and then we'll just wait for Lewis to catch us because, just because, like why not? And if he doesn't catch us, whatever, that's his fault. He's not observant enough. I'm just gonna invite himself, invite ourselves into this briefcase. Uh, well, I guess I'll start looking at stuff until he catches us. Um, my dog is being a little whiny again. Um, this is a letter, and it's from Lewis to Sir. Who is that? I don't know. Um, but it's just talking about a client who's selling a Civil War gold bullion collection that should be about, like, $50,000. So that's interesting. I don't know why it's necessary to read that, but it's there. And there's his little card. Oh! What the? What are you doing in there? Uh... <laughs> I wish you could, like, type your own responses. Like, what are you doing in there? Oh, what? This isn't my briefcase? And then we're gonna phone our annoying friends who are judging our snooping tendencies. Like, guys, we're not here to play. We're here to solve a mystery. That was kind of fast, though. So, we'll press second chance. Hopefully, like... We're gonna be faster, or else we're just gonna get caught like six times until we see everything that's in there. <laughs> that wasn't that much time, I can't read that fast. Mm. And then we got this combination from his laptop, if you'll remember. Um, so as we were looking at, that's his business card. I'm going fast. <laughs> and here is a book mentioning something called Gumbo Fu, and suddenly my dog wants to play after being tired all day. Um, so we're gonna have to figure out what gumbo foo means, because we can, and it mentions the hotel that is the mansion that we are at right now. And then here's a newspaper clipping that, uh, Lewis is keeping, and if you'll mention, that was the last case we solved, so he's stalking us, and he knows who we are, so that's awesome. And then this is just a Victorian magazine with an article about a hidden treasure in a home that is highlighted and circled, so why, Lewis? Do you just like treasures? And then that's a phone. Looks like a calculator. Literally, it is like as thick as a graphic calculator. This is an old game. Okay. So we didn't get caught that time. I was kind of nervous. If you noticed, I was like, I was really picking up the pace. Um, I'm so sorry. I'm trying to figure out where we are. Oh, this is so hard coming back into it. Um... Oh my gosh, this is so embarrassing. Don't even, like, look at me. Oh, I know. <laughs> this, I'm never going to take this long of a break again because it's so hard getting back into it. I'm so sorry. We're going to play the piano. And um, if you'll remember, in the attic, there was that music, that sheet music with the darkened notes. So let's play it. So it was B... E, G, A, G. <gasps> Ooh, a magical compartment. My love, here's the key you'll need. Um, not helpful, but okay. Just kidding, it is helpful. Um, bye, Charlie. <laughs> we don't want to talk to you. Not yet, anyways. I don't even know. We're probably going to have some repeated conversations now that I had to start all over. So, sorry about that, but it'll really solidify that information into your minds. 
So we're going to go back to the attic and go into the secret desk. Go back to the sheet music, but now we are going to look at the lyrics of the song and put this little thing that we got. And if you'll notice, it says, find Diego on stairs. So are we looking for a man named Diego standing on the stairs? No, that's ridiculous. All right. Um, so we're going to go down to the stairs. We're going to use our crowbar on the little flappy door first. Oh, get to the stairs. And so there are these little letter things, so we have to spell out Diego. And if you'll notice, some of the banisters move others. Crap. So it's just a matter of just doing it. Oh my gosh. I can never win with this first one. Oh, there we go. Coins. False. Floor. Three random words that don't help me. Jokes. We will be using that information later. Um, we're going to take this little Chinese symbol. And here's another letter with the most difficult handwriting to read ever. So I give up. If you want to if you want to figure it out, that's that's your deal, but it looks like it's from E. Who is E? Who is Diego? I don't know. Um, what next? <laughs> that's a good question. What time is it? Who can we talk to? Well, it's like 11:45. So we can Oh, I don't like that. I don't like the spookiness. Okay, let's see if we can talk to Abby. Hi, Nancy. No. <laughs> let's see if people know what gumbo foo means. Abby's not going to help us right now. Let's see if Rose know what, knows what gumbo foo means. Hello. Yes. Do you know what gumbo foo means? No, not that I can remember. That wasn't very helpful I either. I'll let you go. Bye, Nancy. Rude. Let's see if Charlie knows what gumbo foo means. I'm not going to ask Rose the other questions because I feel like I did already did in the video. Charlie! What's up? Rude. Let's see. Have you come across any hidden passageways down here? Do you mean like a trap door leading to a room with skeletons or something? No, I haven't. Oh, Charlie, you, you jokester. <laughs> see you around. I bet he has a trap door full of skeletons in his house. He just seems like the type. Tell me he doesn't. Tell me I'm wrong. Um, is it? Oh, it's noon. Let's go talk to Lewis. I almost called him Chandler. That's his last name. I'm just going to refer to everybody by their last names. Oh my gosh. So Lewis's last name is Chandler, and that's a character on Friends. And Rose's last name is Green, a.k.a. Rachel Green. Look at these references. He's still not here. Uh, somebody's late for work. Oh, whatever. We'll talk to him later. I'm not patient enough. Oh, those stairs are so loud. Um, let's, like, go to sleep until, like, 1. Ben Lewis should be there because he's a little... He's a little late loser today. He's the worst alarm clock noise. I would hate to wake up to that. A letter? Oh, footsteps? Is it a love note? Secret admirer? Leave the mansion now! What could that mean? <laughs> I think it means somebody wants us to leave the mansion now. Okay, well, that's not reassuring at all. Um, oh my gosh, I hate that one. That's probably my least favorite one. Because it just, like, creeps me out every time. Let's go try to talk to Lewis, I guess. Um, excuse me. Also, don't make this mistake by clicking directly on the fire because then guess what? Fire. You can't back up and it just makes you watch the parlor gradually burn down. Fire. It's too late. <sighs> well, it's too late. So we're going to second chance that. Do not click directly on the fire. <laughs> Because that is going to get you burned down. Okay. We're going to put that out. Not the historical papers! 
Why would somebody set a box of papers on fire? What's the deal? <sighs> Stressful. I to everybody in the house, and none of them can figure out what caused the fire. Maybe I should take Lewis's advice and cut my losses before it's too late. What advice? He has a client who might want to buy the place. Someone with more experience and money to finish all of the renovations. What does Lewis care? What do the fire department say? They think the fire was caused by sparks from the fireplace, since it doesn't have a screen. And I specifically told Charlie to buy one. How could he Charlie have is such an idiot. I no, told you, he's an idiotic murderer. With this house, no matter what. That's just That's a guess on my part. Away. I don't care if it's fires, earthquakes, or Mr. Valdez with his gang of ghosts. And here's Rose just like prompting the spirits. I can see you're busy. I'll let you Does go. she not know anything Bye. about paranormal like activity? What time is it? Yes, we can talk to Lewis. Maybe. Ask him about Gumbo Fu. Because he's the one that had a book mentioning Gumbo Fu. Let's see. Where is he? Lewis, do your job, please. Did we see everything there was to see in his briefcase? Because I'm starting to questioning that we didn't. I think we did. Maybe let's just like look one more time. Like just in case, I don't even know. I just want to talk to Lewis, is that too much to ask? We're gonna get caught again. We already looked through this all. I don't know. I don't know. Let's just do it again, just in case. Whoops. I hope if I... Oh, I mixed the numbers up. I hope if I put in the right combination. Okay. Get out. Maybe set our alarm again. I don't even know. I just want to talk to Lewis, and he's just like not even doing his job. It's just really frustrating when I'm the only one here who cares. Okay, let's just like do it to. Let's just do it to one. I swear noon is his. Yeah, noon is his time to be here. Who knows? Oh, we should investigate like the point of. The point of the fire, too. That might be helpful. Oh, Does that not look like James Corden, like, from a distance? It just looks like a painting of James Corden. I just noticed that. <laughs> Interesting. That could help us with our mystery. Wait, let's check this out. And this is a letter from Hugh that we saw in the beginning of the game. How would Rose's letters have gotten in there? Let me check the drawer, the magical drawer of the letters, and the letters are gone! So, that was not an accidental fire, because the letters did not magically get into that box. Oh my gosh! Lewis! Why? Oh, whoops. I don't know what I'm doing. No, I don't want to play the maze game. I'm so sorry, this is such a rough, this is like, um, what was the game where I messed up really bad? Um, what was that called? Stay tuned for danger, wow. I'm really on a roll today. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Maybe I have the wrong time. Maybe he doesn't come in at noon. Do you see what he's doing to me? He's making me question everything. Gosh, we're almost at like the time that I like to end the videos and I'm not even at a point that I want to stop. Why is everybody gone? <laughs> Where did everybody go? Did I accidentally send it to like 1 a.m.? Burn 
to the ground. That way you won't have to worry about losing your investment. You'll just collect the insurance. How dare you? Are you accusing me of fraud? I'm sorry, Rose. I don't know. It's just all these accidents and now this. I know you're dedicated to this house. I'm sorry for doubting you. Let's just finish up these curtains. I think the stress of the last few weeks has finally gotten the better of us. All right, well, overheard a conversation, a little bit of tension with Abby and Rose. There's a little bit of tension there. Let me check one more time for Lewis. And if he's not there, we're just going to end the episode and talk to him next time. Okay, it's 1.30 p.m. When Rose wasn't there, I'm like, oh, is it 1.30 a.m.? I don't even know. We'll try one more time. Lewis! Where are you? We want to talk to you. Lewis! Okay, well, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm going to look through the whole briefcase again off screen. So next episode, hopefully we can talk to Lewis and just get to the bottom of this. The new mystery is where is Lewis and why is he not in his job when he says he's going to be. That's the new mystery. We don't care about the accidents anymore. That was a joke, but you know. We can do a little bit of both. Alright, so thank you for watching. Sorry for the technical difficulties that led to kind of the roughness of this video, but I promise it'll be better from here on out. Alright, but you know, thank you for watching.